Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. Today we're writing a poem because that's what we do in this game, clearly. Uh, let's see, try to not pick many of the ones that I was choosing, I guess. Hair? Well, that's Sugi, of course. Uh, frightening tears, cheeks, tears of the kingdom. Oh, Natsuki jumped a little bit there. But Sayori really jumped there. Uh, twirl? Natsuki. Termination. Extraordinary! Milk! Why, Natsuki? <laughs> uh, let's see. Congruent, incongruent, infallible, like me, puppy. Yeah, of course. Pout. All right, bliss. Uh, shopping. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so apparently my thought process just connects with Natsuki all the time. Um. I'm assuming scenes play out differently depending on how you write the poem, obviously. So I guess this is Natsuki. <laughs> this is the Natsuki route we're doing. Um, Cause I, apparently is everything I choose is her. Nightgown? God damn it. <laughs> I actually chose that one cause I didn't think that was gonna be you. Inferno. Uh, memories. Sugar. Now that's clearly kiss. Yeah, rose. Ooh, eternity, judgment, final fantasy. Um, silly. Yeah, kitty. Aurora, well, not Aurora. Aura. Oh man, last one. I'm the last one here again. Uh, don't worry, I just walked into. Will you practice the piano again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Uh, starting this club and not picking up piano? Oh, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if uh, it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help me out on the festival, too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. I'm not putting on a false front at all. Ugh. When you complained about it the other day, Natsuki? Well, well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, it's the whole, but the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sounds a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do you have any... Do, do they really have fried squid? Uh, squid? Uh, it's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. you saying you don't like squid? I mean, honestly... Ah, uh, calamari's all right, I guess. So, as long as it's like that, like I've already mentioned this before, like, I, like I've tried octopus before and it just didn't have a flavor. Like I'm just chewing on rubber, for me anyways. I know there's sauces you can use, but like why not just eat something else then, <laughs> right? If I need to sauce it up to have a flavor, like, I don't know. I know sauces are used for other things to increase or, you know, improve a flavor, but just adding a flavor from the sauce on its own seems a little weird to me, right? You of all people? Uh, I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? What do you mean, you people? <laughs> because it's in your name. A Monica? Uh? That's not how you, you say my name at all. Also, the joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, apparently. Dots? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, let's focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Alright, your reaction is not as fun as Yuri's or Siri's anyways. Excuse me. Where is Siri anyway? Oh, there you are. Yuri is sitting at a desk in the corner room looking down at nothing. Walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I put my hand in front of her face. Huh? Spacing out again. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? <laughs> of course. 
Why wouldn't it be? It feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. You didn't worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry shows a big smile. Now let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Uh, alright. Say so. I worriedly glance at CR before turning my back towards everyone else. With the conversation had already dispersed and everyone's back to the usual activities, maybe you should ask Monica if she knows anything about CR recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they might be spending a lot of time together. Timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some of the papers at her desk. Oh, Kronos, what's up? Uh, hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sior recently? Anything up with her? Uh, in what way do you mean? Uh, maybe I'm reading a little bit too in... A little too much. Or into it too much. She seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room of Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber racer up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the only, I'm not the one asking you, Kronos. You only know her a lot better than I. Yeah, but she never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. Oh, no, no. It's important to me, too. Uh, I mean, I'm also friends with her. I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to him myself. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's had a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? Saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Kronos. Me? I don't know where you come to that conclusion. Well, probably wouldn't say too much. I shouldn't, shouldn't say too much, but it's always talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? Huh? You've been so much happier ever since you joined the club. A little extra light has was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sorry is always like that. It's always been full of sunshine. Not any different from now than it always has been. <laughs> it's so funny, Kronos. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. Sorry, what do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh-huh. Alright. I'm gonna smile a little meaningfully. I know she said forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet, which is actually kind of impressive given her voice, that I can't hear her. I sigh and set myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Uh, hey, Q! Huh? Look at Natsuki this next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much time, so... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything like that. It's nothing like I'm worried or anything, It was just... Natsuki glances down on her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. Oh, that's right. Something that just came up for a minute, uh, but we get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez! Now you make me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you and you just tell me to leave you alone, I will. I mean, I mean, you didn't feel like talking about anything. Probably mumbles the last part. Which is good, because I mumbled the last part too. Nah, I'm probably making it bigger, making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. Just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if there's something happened to her. Oh. Akatsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, <laughs> you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. In that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you'd probably be the first person to be the one she would go to, right? I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have, have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly! If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a little more obvious. Yeah. Eh, not always the case. But yeah, I should have thought of it that way from the start. And everyone does have those days. I wish that wasn't always the case, but yeah. Now, Tsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hand. She, uh, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. No one will be worried about your friends. I mean, you're worried about me, so... I was not! 
Jeez, dude, you're fine. Let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, as do I. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder, she's talking, uh, wonder what she was talking about with Siori. Well, fuck. I guess we'll go down to the top of the list again. Or maybe we'll go from the bottom up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If Sayori's having a bad day, maybe we shouldn't save her for last, right? We'll start with Sayori, then we'll go to Monica. Dots. Um, hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you didn't like it. Well, you didn't. Don't need to worry what I think. I thought you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Natsuki. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not what I really meant, though. But it's okay. Oh, now you're getting all jealous? You're like, oh, you should fucking, you know, make friends with everyone. You should walk in that Suki home someday. Oh, I don't even do it all down because of it. Making new friends just like I was hoping. Yeah, that makes me uh, really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Yeah, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Chris. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, no, nothing. I'm a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will! Don't worry about me! You can go play with everyone else! If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow! Before I can say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom home to herself. Oh, now I feel like an asshole! Oh, hi, Kronos. Have you thought about what you want to submit for the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Uh, but whatever you do, I'll, I'm sure it'll turn out great. We ha it would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Sticking with the Natsugi style once more, I see. I'm not even trying, to be quite honest. It's just happening. You really like Natsugi, don't you? <laughs> That's... Oh, come on, Kronos. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day, pretending to like the manga she's into. You know how Nasuki is. I don't indulge her, she's not me. Uh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Kronos. It's not like Nasuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the one who's indulging her as much as you have. What? I think you're the only one who's indulging her as much as you have. Oh, okay. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I didn't want to admit it. So I just need to ask you one thing. Be careful, okay? Natsuki's kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. Uh, <laughs> she's the one, youngest one in this completely everyone's 18 clubhouse that's clearly maybe not in high school. But don't worry about that, alright? Just go with the flow. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. Fuck, now I'm feeling weird that... <laughs> that accidentally choosing Natsuki. If something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club, too. And you wouldn't want to do that to me, right? That's... I'm not trying to respond to Monica. While I care about her and the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyways, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh... Alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. Uh, an old tale of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that ever was sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the current, currents of wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But we all, when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend of legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Till one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and I fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I speak, she responds a hollow, with a hollow voice. I have found another answer, all which uh, amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. We seek only the impossible. I'm not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back aloft. 
and I pick up a gust of wind. All right. Well, if the lady knows everything, did you know why a feather can talk? Kind of fucked up, don't have lungs. Or a brain. You know, I feel like I'm learning, uh, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of the things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything like that. It's kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Uh, I never put much thought into it. Anyways, it's almost paradoxical. Oh, that's Monica. Because, uh, if we had all the answer, wouldn't the world start to lose all its meaning? No, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club is writing about things that are more sad than happy. Oh, <laughs> you see a surprise? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? You can write about happy shit. It's fine. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I mean, you literally are a two-dimensional creature. Get it? Because she's a drawn anime girl. High five, Kronos. Thank you. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional. Uh, yeah, that. Anyways, I hear Monica's writing tip of the day. If you're ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not good, it's really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much effort into. But you find other people enjoy writing, then share some, uh, sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or bad, or, or okay, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, but it'll make you more to, uh, want to continue improving. Well, okay. <laughs> well, this one's actually a tip instead of like, you know, a video game tutorial. And it's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, Yuri, I guess. Dots. Well done, Kronos. You're definitely improved your writing over the course of a few days. Has my advice been helping? Has my advice been helpful you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing your writing like this is a lot more fun and rewarding than anticipated. I need to remember that. Uh, remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. Now it seems like everyone's enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what the others think. I guess I really can't disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would turn into would, would be a chore. But it's a great way to spend some personal time with all the girls. <laughs> it's, it's a great way for me to spend all the personal time with all the girls in this club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in the writing. I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Curtis? Huh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. Yeah, apparently, like... I'm really good at choosing Natsuki answers. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. In my opinion, these are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or the other. Huh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice in the, sh the share. Oh, is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. <laughs> huh? For me to become someone whose opinion is fearsome, how unlikable of me. Yuri, that's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. Sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I just think a little bit too, a little too, uh, what, what, wait, what? I'm just a little too used to it. Oh, okay. Overthinking. I'm being disliked. Yuri. W what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Why do people dislike you? Because of the boobs? Probably because of the boobs. Alright. You want to share your poem? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of gears... In, oh, years in the making, not gears. Where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear sky... Blue sky. An expense of bliss. But beneath... Gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. Easiest would be to get uh, the easiest would to get world. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything could be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. Yeah, I guess that's true. I was trying to think if that was true. Like, I don't. Yeah, I guess they have to be a little damp to keep its form. Yeah. But where the sand is wet, the tides come. Will it gently lick at your foundations with until you give in? 
or will a sudden move send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand, get pinched by a little crab. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate uh, boundary line, tempted by the foaming tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my piece to a road at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but uh, I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? Yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, uh, it was amusing that we, uh, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such a different way. But then Suki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again, so as to better compare to differ uh, the differences in our writing style, or thought process. Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. Not that I have a particular interest in her writing style, Baka. I just want with uh, her request, but I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, kind of like the beach! It gives me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Uh, thanks for sharing. Natsuki! The see, the see! You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! <laughs> you fucking have wrote a poem about me for, or for me like three days straight now. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting to that before. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Just had to put you in place a little bit. Not like, I mean, not like I'm shy or anything stupid like that, Baka. I'm jealous, Baka. It's your Baka, Baka, Baka. I'm just really, bad, really jealous. Uh, I suppose because you happen to be a good writer. That, that's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Yeah. What are you talking about? Writing, my art writing is obviously the best, right? Say it's the best. It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Fake it till you make it, baby! Right? Carlos, please tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just tell me that I'm the best. I just... I really need to hear that from someone. I, I, I know I sound stupid. It's just the reason I never shared my poems before. Natsuki, because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. It's the point of sharing my poem that people just laugh and say that's so cute. It's like this Suki. Sometimes they just want to be. They don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. You try really hard, but why do you like all the cute things then? Uh, style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want. And Suki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips start equivalent. Oh, don't cry again, please. I don't do good with crying. I look down. Her fists are clenched and tightly. Is really tightly. Hey, Natsuki, please don't punch me. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she, re, re, until she relaxes her grip. I place it flat on the desk, smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. Don't, don't read it! Before I pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem back from the desk. Not any good. I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one. No, I find your poems to be hilarious. I don't hate them. But I want to read it. Why? Because I need a good laugh? I like your poems. <laughs> Corona, stop being mean to Natsuki. I'm not- uh, She can't hear me! Probably. I really do. I really like them. Why would, I, why would I judge you by your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. <laughs> I've known you for four days now, right? Or three days? And it's wrong for you to think your style is more amateur than hers. Sorry. Well, she always means well. Sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. Yeah, sorry I pretty much cried laughing uh, at your poem the other day. Uh, you, <laughs> you're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. And Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poems a little too hard. Uh, she looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. Uh, finally, she forces herself to extend her arm and let her poem sit on the table. You can read it. 
turn, just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look, I love this theme music. <laughs> because you look at me. When I want to, want to say something, it's I say it with a shout, but my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. Well, you are tiny. Uh, my standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart, but what do I do when it's torn apart? My face is a little stronger because you trust me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a very good writer. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems is a little bit dearer because you think of me because you, because you, because you. Oh shit, we're in! Why are you looking at me like that? You like it, you don't like it, you don't say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that little surprise in the read. It really isn't a poem that Yuri told me she had written. Meaning I'm probably the only one she's throwing this to. I'm, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Hey, don't say that, dummy. What do you think the point of writing is there's things that you can't say? Yeah, I understand. Uh, I'm sorry for missing the, por uh, the point sometimes. But I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed me this one. I liked it. Yeah, well... I mean, I'm a pro, so... Natsuki fumble, uh, mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just... I, mean, I, I can think these things... I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, you, when you're nice to me, it's... Just meaningful. Oh, I'm glad. In the sense that Natsuki is satisfied, I, set, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as Natsuki takes my hand and pushes it, them away, her small, soft hand surprises me with their assertion. I don't want it. Huh? Why not? I just don't. Jeez. Realize that what new, uh, Natsuki is doing. I never to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose, not, uh, choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would. Never mind. I'm glad you like, I want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves that as is. But her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. It's all for now, so go put it away before someone sees it, okay? I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so that I can put away Natsuki's poem. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is this me? Did something strange happen now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when just in the club. Yeah, catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri, uh, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Dagny and Yuri's common foreshadowing some terrors with the happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, seems you're right. Ugh. Sayori helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. When the heck did she run off to, anyways? I, I thought she just wanted to pee. So you please serve some decency. Everyone pees, all right? Oh, come on. She actually wasn't really feeling well. She we went home early. Is that so? I hope she's not right. Seriously? All the time to not go home with her, she, you pick uh, you pick the time she's not feeling well? How much of you two being all lovey-dovey? Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my, my friendship with Sayori. Second, she kind of been avoiding me all day, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, <gasps> that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. Uh, I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I know what I'll be doing. That's right. And I think we will be making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them in different flavors. You can handle that all by yourself, Natsuki. Chilling deceptive. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling the poetry pamphlets. Dory will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, uh... Um... Guys, can you help me uh, come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Wink, wink. 
Now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, I can I, can I even I can tell now. Guess I never gave Sarah enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ugh, that may be the case. But I can't also be the leader of my, on my own, and then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. You should make some bana uh, bananas. Yeah, Kronos, that says bananas. Bananas a decoration to help the, set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? I'm about that. I, I love atmosphere. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind's already racing too, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. What anyway? That just leaves you, Kronos. The one, uh, the one who's truly useless. Oh, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, well, Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate that. Uh, that's... Monica's just I spent the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they gonna respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, so I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you know how to bake, there's, there's, don't know how to, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Not like Monica's gonna give me a choice and should be sitting on your butt anyways. Uh, Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would handle the bacon on your own. Curtis may not like to be around if you really make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, you may be more suited to the system with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard are you, how hard are you gonna be to make decorations anyways? It sounds like you're just making an excuse for Cronus to. What are you saying? It'd be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Cronus to decide who he'd like to contribute to. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. I'm sure he'd be interested in. You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Kronos, you okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Of course. Oh, shit. Uh, very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Oh, shit. Ah! Uh, Aw, oh, jeez. Um. Uh, that, that's it for this episode. Oh, God. We'll be, we'll be back next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>